Well, we bought our Class A and we found out the hard way that we needed this. Stay tuned. decided we were going to Maine. It was going to be our first big trip with the Class A and we were all excited. But what do you do? You go and make sure that everything is perfect. So we went and put everything in the, in the motor home. We checked everything out. Went and decided to check the air pressure on the tires. Everything checked out great. Until the next morning when we came out and one of the valve stems had stuck open and we lost all of the air pressure in the one tire back tire's pressure is 100, 110 pounds and that happened to be the inside tire in the rear that was, that was deflated and we didn't have an air compressor that we could get, up, get enough pressure into the tire. So we went and we decided we needed to call AAA to see if they could come and do it. Well, they wouldn't come and just put air in the tire, they'd need to tow it someplace in order for it to be fixed. So we went to the mechanic and borrowed a tank. We came back and pumped up the tire to take it to him so that he could fix the valve stuff. But what we learned from that whole thing is that we probably needed an air compressor that could handle the pressures that we needed to pump up our tires. Okay. So what we did was go and get a DC powered air compressor. So we went and we got a Viair 450P RV. And what it is, it comes in this really nice case. It's a really heavy duty air compressor. And it comes with two sets of um, two 30 foot hoses. One in the front and one in the rear here. what we had in the case and then it also came with a pump with a gauge on it in a way so that you can pump up both sides of the, um, the dual tires in the back. It um, goes to 150 PSI and you hook it to your battery, your 12 volt battery. And the only difference with this is that it does not have a tank, so it's not like you're going to just hit the, um, the nozzle and just pump and fill your tire right up. It's going to take a little bit of time. And they say that it averages about, about two minutes or just a little bit more than that to pump a, a tire up the pressure for, at an 80 pound per square inch tire. Hose is a very high quality hose. The connections work really well. You can tell. We put that together and it should be good to go. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it on so you can hear what it sounds like, see how loud it is. Go ahead and give her a shot, see where, how it does it. <laughs> All right, so now that we've gone over the compressor and you've seen it and how nice it is. We came inside away from the bugs and all of the cars going by up and down the road. Everybody mowed their lawn today, so there's like a million little tiny gnat bugs out there. The type that we bought was a 450P RV. Um, so now Viair makes actually four different types, specifically for RVs. Um, basically it's the same number, like the one we would buy would be a 450P RV and then it would end with an S. Those are the ones that are specifically for the RVs now. So they have four different kinds, starting with a Class B, and then one for your towables, a Class C, and then finally the Class A. 
Um, I'm going to put a link below to uh, give you the descriptions and the features of the different ones. Basically, the lower ones um, won't inflate 110 pounds. Uh, the one we have inflates to 150 pounds. Um, the, the lowest one, the smallest one, doesn't have a 60-foot hose. Um, so those are basically some of the differences. Um, and then the last two, that would be for the Class C and the Class A. Um, the 400P and the 450P RVSs, those you can actually get a winterizing kit to do your water lines. So you can attach that to your compressor and you can blow out your lines to winterize it. That's something that we haven't got. We we normally we just winterize with the antifreeze right now, but it, we may give it a try to see how it works. Hopefully someday we won't have to winterize. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope this was helpful for you. We'll go ahead and let us know down below what you like about the compressor, what you don't like about the compressor, or if you have any questions that you need us to come up with or come up with an answer for you for. And we can go ahead and do that for you. So until next time, bye.